Uprooted Theatrical Studios presents... It's 10 Tips Tuesday. Hi everyone, my name is Joanna. I'm an American actor here in London. And today I'm going to be giving you guys 10 tips about being a working actor here in the UK. So a little bit about me. I spent the past few years training to be an actor in the US. I studied in San Diego, Washington DC, and got my undergraduate degree at Longwood University. Uh, during my time at Longwood, I did a semester abroad uh, at the University of Plymouth. And then about a year and a half ago, I did a 14 week course at Lambda and absolutely fell in love with London as well as found the love of my life and decided to transition to being an actor here in London. So just a few things you're gonna have to keep in mind. Again, these are gonna be 10 tips. The most important one, number one, is visas and making sure you have the right to work here in the UK. So make sure you're researching to make sure if you're gonna come work here that you have the proper ones. Uh, currently, I'm here on a spousal visa, which means I have the right to work. That might not necessarily be the one that you go after, but make sure if you're gonna come work here in London, you do have the right to work. Uh, second tip, number two, is public transportation. So that's gonna be your friend here in London. Right next to the Bethnal Green Underground, the world famous London tubes. Uh, that's what you're gonna really need. So taking the buses, making sure you know the tubes, the trains, uh, the schedules, make sure that you know how to get around because unfortunately you're not gonna have the ability to drive a car here. So that's gonna be the biggest transition for you guys being an American actor here. So tip number three is all about training. make sure that your accreditations are going to really sync up with what they have here in UK. So going on to training, my tip number four is going to be all about extra work. Now in the US, it's pretty common that you're going to start out doing that to make your way on film set, to familiarize yourself more with working on set. Now you can do that here in the UK, but the issue that you're going to run into is you're now competing against people that are graduating from schools like RADA and Lambda, Old Vic. And so when your photo gets going across the casting director's desk, and all they know you is from background work or scenic artist work, artist work, you're gonna have a really hard time trying to secure work consistently. So I would recommend not just doing background work and scenic work. You can do that for a little bit if you wanna kinda of see what life on set's gonna be like, but give yourself a certain point where you stop saying, I'm not gonna do that type of work anymore, so you don't get pretty cold and cast as that. Now going off that, tip number five, is going to be all about the casting websites. In the US, we're familiar with Actors Access, Backstage, and while they do use Backstage here in the UK, more common sites you're gonna to wanna to use is gonna be Mandy, Star Now, uh, Talent Talks, and various different agencies, uh, stage.com. But make sure, just like you would in the US, make sure that you're vetting the castings yourself, because while they'll do their best to make sure that they are legitimate castings, unfortunately, sometimes you do get people on those websites that maybe aren't giving kind of the best A, pay, or B, can be kind of sketch. So again, Mandy, Star Now, uh, Talent Talks, as well as Stage.com are gonna be your friends. So we've already gone over casting websites like Mandy.com and Star Now, but tip number six and seven are gonna go together. You wanna make sure that you join Spotlight as well as join Equity. Now, you're not gonna be taken seriously as a UK actor unless you can get on Spotlight. Equity, not so much, but again, it's just like any other union. You wanna make sure you have all your ducks in a row. So Spotlight is basically the UK equivalent of Actors Access. That's where all the big castings are gonna be coming out of. So you're not gonna be able to land really big major contract roles unless you're on Spotlight. So I would suggest before you transition to the UK, make sure you have all your transcripts from your university, make sure you're saving all your W-2s, as well as making sure you're saving all of your contracts for any paid work. Now sometimes, because you are transitioning from the US to the UK, they might not nece necessarily understand what those things means to translate into your membership for both Spotlight and Equity. So don't be disheartened if at first they reject you. Just make sure you email them and kind of explain what these US credits mean. Now once you're on Spotlight and once you've got Equity, then you can start looking for a UK agent. So you really wanna get an agent that's based here in the UK. Uh, so I recommend that you start doing your research now, maybe go on IMDb, see which actors you want to have that same career, see which agents are representing them, and even do your research on maybe even smaller boutique agencies. Now in the US, we are used to having non-exclusivity, but here in the UK, it's not going to be uncommon that an agent's going to ask to be your exclusive agent. 
So tip number nine is going to be working on your RP accent or received pronunciation. Now remember, you're here on their home turf, so basically your British accent back home might be passable, but here they're going to be able to spot it a mile away. So immerse yourself in British culture, watch TV shows, films, and also invest in a really good dialect coach so that you can turn your turn into a turn. <laughs> and finally, tip number 10 is just be yourself. You are an American working here in London. There is definitely a market for you. That's your niche. So just embrace your Americanness when you're going into auditions. And cheers. Hope to catch you in London.